Crypto Frog back at you. Q N T Quant. A lot of interest out there surrounding this cryptocurrency, the operating system of blockchain smart contracts and settlement between any and to any chain, creating the Internet of Trust. QNT Incorporated in October 2017 in Switzerland. Say you can use Quant and Overledger to trust the network without the need to trust each other. Why limit yourself to one blockchain? Benefit from all the blockchains using Quant and Overledger. Facilitate data transfer between networks, multi-chain apps, use a bit of XRP, throw in a lashing of F, a sprinkle of Bitcoin to sharpen up your data sets and apps across multiple chains. Don't be limited. My great big project. Big ideas, big gains for investors. QNT, Quant, is it a great coin, an average coin, or a motherfucking no, mama shite coin? Stay tuned. Hit it! Quant, connectivity, accessibility. Trust, connecting the world's networks to blockchains with just three lines of code. Quant, it has been the apple of crypto Twitter's eye for months. But is it any good? My rating at the end of the video. Keep your eyes glued to the screen. As of the time of making this video, one QNT will cost you $5.19. It has a circulating supply of slightly over 12 million QNT and a max supply of about 14.61 million QNT. Its market cap coming in at 62.7 million US dollarinos. Not that big, but certainly not that small. That said, relatively speaking, compared to the top 10, it is a minnow, rank number 74. Strangely enough, when you jump onto CoinGecko, the rank is 90. It is up around 12% in the last one month over the last year. It is up almost 120%. All time high was around 15 and a half US dollars in July 2019. All time low, 21 cents. It's been on quite a wild ride, like the rest of crypto then. What is Quant? As I said before, Quant is connecting the world's networks to blockchain with just three. One, two, three lines of code. According to the white paper, the initial goals of the Overledger project were to develop an interface to connect the world's networks and to develop a blockchain operating system with a protocol and platform that allows developers to create next generation multi-chain applications. Their proposition for Go Verify is to allow people to verify and check whether any emails, SMS, mail or phone calls received appear as legitimate, legit and actually from the stated sender. When you look at Overledger's community treasury design white paper, you will see that it describes aspects of the Overledger network, discusses the community treasury's role in handling payments between users and gateways, using layer 2 unidirectional payment channels, and details how the community treasury enforces rules between the users and gateways known as payment contracts which disincentivizes bad behavior using game theoretic model. Did you get that guys? It is complex but worth a read. These guys aren't playing games. The idea for the creation of Quant slash Overledger was birthed in the head of the project CEO and founder's brain Gilbert Verdan while he was working in the UK's healthcare sector. Gilbert has an impressive resume, strong team, so far so gravy. As with 99% of cryptocurrencies, FUD is getting flung around left, right and centre like Spanish chaps lobbing tomatoes at each other or bodies leaping into alleyways at various angles at a Spanish bull run. Animal cruelty, that's for you to decide. It's culture, innit? Celebrate culture. 
Partners are absolutely gravy. Will central banks work with them? Will the major exchanges come as they have hinted at at numerous times? As you can see, the top exchanges are Hopit and IDEX. Not really the top tier exchanges. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Patience is a virtue. As we know, crypto investors are the most impatient people in the world. They want the moon on a stick in days. Guys, most things take time, especially complex shit that needs to work perfectly before being rolled out 100% in it. Regarding the exchange listing FUD, by the way, subscribe, the team say they are pulling the plug on the Binance listing due to Binance CEO and founder CZ wanting to access QNT's Cure code slash IP. They say they have applied and gone through all the compliance grind for Kraken and Coinbase. So they sit and wait to see what happens there. Hopefully it comes for them and their investors. This FUD popped up in late 2018 when the team vowed to get QNT listed on top tier exchanges. But holders, accumulators, could say it is a blessing in disguise. Cheaper stacking. What exchanges is it on now? Most of the action, if you believe what Hotbit says, is on Hotbit. There's also Fat BTC, BitThumb Global, IDEX, VCC Exchange, and others are available. The development is impressive. Their developer portal has over 300 developers registered. Am I too late? I would say no. The number of QNT wallets are growing, but only stand at just over 6,000. Compare that to Link with over 130,000. BAT with over 275,000 and Tron. Why would you buy that with over a million? Not comparing QNT to any of those projects, by the way. You want to be a QNT whale? To be one of the top 50 holders, you need 30,000 QNT. Top 100, 17,000. So a small but confident number of people have been scooping up boatloads of QNT. Lots of whales. The partnerships are gravy. Simba Chain. UCL, Accord and Pay UK, sealed in 2019. Socials, Twitter, at quant underscore network, has just over 12,000 followers. The tweets don't come particularly thick or fast, or they haven't since March. You know, they might be busy, right? That's a good thing. Telegram is a hive of activity. Good to see. Overall, quant is very impressive and hard to give it justice in just a five-minute YouTube video in it. I suggest you do your own research, but I like what I see. Wrong. I love what I see, and I plan to scoop up a bag soon. Frog score is 9 out of 10. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, give me a subscription. Click the red button. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter, CryptoFrog202, and stack the Chad. Peace.